Now, at rest, when a horse like, like this horse is just standing here relaxing, um, it probably breathes around about 10 to 15 breaths per minute and will we'll take in about 50, 60 litres of air per minute. When they're galloping and working really hard, you then find that the, the amount of air that comes in is greatly increased and it can increase up to 1,800 litres of air per minute. Now, one of the main problems, I would say, with the respiratory tract, and you know it's the second biggest cause of lost training days for horses, is problems with the respiratory system. So the problem with, with horses is that, you know, we say, <coughs> so I've got a frog in my throat. Horses don't do that. They just don't do that. If your horse coughs, and a number of people will say to me, oh, he's all right. He gives one cough at the beginning of the exercise session. That's not good. That means you've got something going on in the lungs. You've got some sort of resistance here to the air flowing in, into the lungs. So this allergic respiratory disorder is set up by dust, and it's dust within the stable environment. And that comes from the bedding and from hay, even good quality hay, the hay that you pick up and you shake. Um, it's actually, it, it's not that clean. So when we look at the respirable dust, this is the dust that will go right through here and into these alveoli and set up this allergic reaction. And that dust causes the thickening of the walls of these alveoli. It causes lack of elasticity so that they can't expand and contract but also the respiratory tract actually fills up with mucus. So again, you've got all these barriers, these resistance to getting air from the nostrils into the alveoli to where, to where it should be. So the best way we can prevent these respiratory disorders is to take the dust away from the animal. So you can bed on, on, on dust-free shavings and rubber matting, which is, is the best option at the moment, or paper. Straw is not very good because straw is full of respirable particles. Um, some people like to feed haylage, and that's lower dust than hay. But even good quality hay, when you pick it up and you look at it and think, this is lovely, it's not. It can have over 63,000 spores per kilogram, up to maybe a million spores per kilogram. So the most effective thing to do is to get rid of that dust. Now, people have soaked for years, and soaking hay does, it does reduce the dust. The problem with soaking, and we've done some research about this in the university, is that um, you do increase the bacterial concentration of, of the hay. When we use high temperature steaming, and this, this particular um, method of steaming is very, very high temperature, so it's over 100 degrees C, that actually kills the bacteria and it kills all those respirable particles and they don't become airborne again. So therefore you don't set up the respiratory um, disorder.